Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate UK income tax for 2024 to 25 in Excel. The UK income tax system follows a progressive system, meaning that those taxpayers that have a higher income will be in a higher tax band, whereas lower earning taxpayers will be in a lower one. In this video, we'll cover how to create an income tax calculator which automatically returns your income tax payment based on the taxable income figure that you input. Before we start, I want to emphasize that I'm not a qualified accountant or advisor, and you should not use this video to substitute tax advice. Note that taxpayers earning more than £100,000 will have their allowance drop by £1 for every £2 that their income exceeds £100,000. Therefore, to adhere to this rule, we need to calculate the difference between the taxable income and 100,000. We can write an if statement to reflect this. If the taxable income is greater than 100,000, then we want to find the difference between the two. However, if it's not greater than 100,000, then we want it to return zero. Since the taxable income is a figure above 100,000, we can see that the difference is calculated. Next, we want to calculate the deduction in the tax-free allowance if the income is indeed greater than 100,000. Since the allowance drops by one pound for every two pounds that our income exceeds 100,000, we need to divide the difference by two. However, we need to ensure that the deduction does not exceed the tax-free allowance of 12,570. So if the difference divided by two is greater than 12,570, then return 12,570. And if the condition does not hold, then simply calculate the difference divided by two. Now, even if our taxable income is above the upper threshold of 125,140, the deduction is capped at 12,570. Next, we need to build this calculation table, which we will use later on to calculate our outputs. Firstly, let's input the tax thresholds. However, instead of just typing these figures, we need to ensure that we subtract the deduction from the taxable incomes to account for any incomes above 100,000. Note that the personal allowance is not relevant to the 125,140 limit, so we do not need to subtract anything here. If our taxable income is above 100,000, our calculation table subtracts the deduction from the taxable income thresholds. If, however, it is below 100,000, then the taxable income figures become the same as the original boundaries. Before we calculate the tax payable for each taxable income, let's input the tax rates which correspond to each tax threshold. So we have 0, 20, 40, and 45%. Now let's calculate the tax payable. The tax payable when our taxable income is zero is zero. The amount payable when our income is 12,570 is also zero, as the 20% tax rate only applies when the taxable income is greater than 12,570. To calculate the tax payable when the taxable income is 50,270, we take the tax payable in the previous band we then add this to the difference between 50,270 and 12,570, which is the previous boundary. We then close brackets and multiply this by the applicable tax rate, which is 20%. We can then do the same for the cell below as follows. We can now move on to the outputs. As a reminder, our tax payment is the amount payable in the previous tax band plus the rate of the current tax band multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. 
we can find each of these using the VLOOKUP function. To find the amounts payable in the previous tax band, we type equals VLOOKUP. We're looking up the taxable income within the table we just made, and we're looking to retrieve the value in the second column, which corresponds to the tax payable, so we type 2. And finally, we want it to be an approximate match, so we type 1. Since we've used an approximate match, Excel has retrieved the tax payable, which corresponds to the taxable income that is below our lookup value, which is 50,270, and therefore it's retrieved 7,540. To find the rates of the current tax band, we once again use a VLOOKUP function. The only difference now is that we're looking to retrieve the value in the third column, which corresponds to the tax rate. To find the amount payable in the current tax band, we firstly take the taxable income, we then subtract, and we use VLOOKUP to retrieve 50,270, which is found in the first column of our table array. We are given 9,730, which is indeed 60,000 minus 50,270. Now that we have the intermediary calculations, we can calculate the annual tax payment. This is the amount payable in the previous tax band, plus the rate of the current tax band, multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. So for a taxable income of £60,000, our annual tax payment is 11432 We can now check whether our calculation works for an income of 110000 which is above 100000 The amount payable in the previous tax band is 7540 which as you can see is correct. The rate of the current tax band is 40% as our income is between these two boundaries. Finally, the amount payable in the current tax band is 64,730, which is indeed 110,000 minus 45,270 after adjusting for the allowance rule. So that's how you can calculate UK income tax for 2024 to 2025 in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.